Well guys, here we are. The kickoff of 2023 season. It's like mid-February. I don't even know what the date is. It's like 50 some degrees out today. I don't think I'm ready to get back into the swing of things yet. Tried to, uh, well, this is our first victim back here. Tried to pull in there and I can't swing that. So I'm gonna have to drop this thing here and then take the truck home and go get my, get my everyday truck and be able to get back through there. But uh, good thing is we're only like five minutes from the house. Yeah, man, I don't, I don't know. I'm ready to be back in the swing of things. Kind of got used to the uh, taking it easy. Got a couple trees to get down. You guys are just now seeing the videos from springtime. I'll uh, I'll start sprinkling. I'm gonna probably have to start sprinkling some of uh, this newer stuff in with the older stuff. been slacking on that too that's what my project was for all winter get all the videos done and edited and up slacking guys I only got about a month before it's really go time I don't know last year I was and then uh, spring got here and it rained so much so it put me back more let's get this thing unloaded get it down over the hill and see what uh, see what we got to do been a couple months since I looked at this. Can't even remember 100% what all what all we got to do. Kind of had to had to poke my head down over the hill, make sure we're at the right spot. The giveaway is the trailer. They, that's why I'm doing a ho little horse pad, and I'm pretty sure this is it. But yeah, now that I look over the hill, we're in the right spot. Never know. Definitely gonna take me a minute to get back in the swing of things, that's for sure. Look at this out. Two inch pipe, that's a perfect, perfect cup holder. This is a definite must. For our first 2023 job and a Monday. Let's go get the pickup. Well, we're back to get the pickup. Let's see what time it is. 9.50. So I started getting ready and greasing and doing everything about 8 o'clock. It's 9.50. I ain't even moved the first piece of dirt yet. Probably be behind schedule today. And I'll tell you what, if you guys ain't uh, tried this new strawberry whatever apricot, you should. It's pretty tasty. Let's get up there and see what we can get into. Heading down into the abyss. guys here's what we got going to extend a little horse arena here so I'm gonna get all these leaves all cleaned off get all this and then basically from this right here to start cutting all this out flip-flopping it got to remove that tree got to remove that tree hopefully it should go as planned we'll see Got horses back there. Hopefully we don't uh hopefully we don't drop the tree on a horse and do a horse in, right?
want to get all these leaves like where your leaves and vegetation where you're putting other dirt on top you don't want to that, that right there if you put those leaves on top of that dirt that just creates a slip it's never gonna fall you want dirt on dirt pretty much got all our leaf scrape back you don't have to get every dang one of them just just so you get good contact with that dirt that dang horse is trying to show off for me yeah like i told you guys before i was greasing my equipment this morning i tell you i i look at grease and i get it on me i, I don't know what it is i i'm smelling grease i got it somewhere because it's, it's not on not on my hand well maybe i got it somewhere I don't know what it is. I'm a grease magnet, guys. We'll start. We'll start picking. Uh, picking this out right here and laying her over. Man, today's one of those days I could have drank the uh, 32 ounce Red Bull. Man, that flavor's good. I'd be going home all, all kick sideways, jack sideways, drooling. Four in the morning, still up. Probably not a good thing, but they taste so good, you just want more. Right, Mr. Ed? Mr. Ed agrees. First scoop of 2023. How you guys think this season's gonna go? I've been kind of wondering about that. I, I got this job and one other job, that's all I got, my phone hasn't, oh my god, what a close-up. My phone hasn't really been ringing, and maybe that's just weather. I think people are trying to figure out what's going on. I noticed, I noticed last year towards the end of the year that, uh, <laughs> I noticed last year towards the end of the year that, uh, things were kind of tapering off, wasn't like it was. Just have to see. Told, uh, told my wife that I wasn't gonna take like this to me is a little job, little little uh, two day job, which I kind of just took it because, like I said, I don't have much going on and figure, you know, get some money coming in versus money going out when you're not working. It's a it's a thousand dollars a day a lot of times, and sometimes more than that. I mean, it just it doesn't stop with. I mean, my tags are sitting there for my dump truck. Just, I think just for the tags and put that thing on the road is uh, about 3,300 bucks for the year. It don't stop. And then I'm re, I'm re, uh, having that house. So that's, that's a lot. Bust out another thousand. Looks like somebody's already filled this. See all the different colors in the dirt there. It's somewhere on me. Definitely. Probably behind my ear or something. Now that we got somewhat of this dirt off this edge here, we'll put some dirt in the bucket. Just kind of pack it in. 
packed. It's just a, <laughs> just a level spot for Mr. Ed down there. Whoever his girlfriend is. I think that'd be perfect. See all that salad smashing in there. Smashing in. See how much higher it is here? Smashing her down. I tell you what, when I first come look at this job, you guys know what my first thoughts were? Take a guess. How, how can I get my dozer in here and just wipe this out? I just want to put my dozer on every dang job. Probably, I mean, that's what I started with. I bought my dozer just, uh, well, that's what I, you know, Back in the 90s, I ran heavy equipment and always been a dozer guy. Well, heck, it goes way back longer than that when I was a kid. Tell you what, it is a beautiful day for being good at for being uh, mid February. Normally, February is one of our worst months with snow and sleet, and rain, and cold, and you can't complain about this, right, Mr. Ed? Mr. and Mrs. Ed? I guess you guys are boy and girl, right? You guys being camera shy? You guys should act like an F-16 and run down through here again. Well, Idaho got a good taste of what it's like owning a piece of equipment. He bought that 2015 Bobcat for out at uh, Black Sheep. He spent like, I don't know, $6,000 on a brush cutter. And then, um, he took it to get it serviced from the guy that does some of my work I turned him on to. And uh, I guess the guy with service it called him and uh, said, yeah, both your drive motors are bad. It's gonna be another $12,000, $6,000 a piece, I guess. I'm like, my God, there's 12 grand. That's why you can't, I mean, you can't just do this stuff for a hobby. You got to make your money. So you know what he says now? I'm about to put an, uh, about to put a, I told Jamie Girl to put a thing on Facebook Marketplace so I can start doing work. I got to make that work. I got to make that money back. So, yep. He said, uh, my IT guy needs some work done. He wants a driveway extension. Put in, he said, wants, wants me and him to come look at it. I laughed and he said, he said, I told him. Told him it's twelve thousand dollars. <laughs> I said, "There you go, make your money back on the first job." <laughs> twelve thousand dollars. Bust out another thousand. Well, that looks like a dang donkey. Are you a donkey or a? Is that electric? Put your nose on there. Oh, I guess it ain't on, is it? Watch this, guys. Ain't gonna do it that one. Hold on a second here. Camera shy. I hate when all that dirt rolls up over like that. My last skid loader, my 289, I had a guard made for the bucket, and I told the guy I wanted the bucket, but I think he liked it. I'm gonna have to get my buddy 
the hammer, Daryl Clem to make me another one. Look at all that dirt. I hate that when it's back behind my bucket there. It's got so much power. Rolls it up over the bucket. I do want to show you. Look what I did here, though. To keep all the uh, shit out of these bushings. Look at that. I put a uh, thumb over there. Man, that does a big, big help. I need to do all that here. I got something worked out. I'm going to do that. But, man, especially when you're... There it is. Grease all over me. God dang it. All over my pants. I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh, when you're moving gravel and stuff, that's really bad. It gets in there and crunches and cracks and it's like it's like uh kid crusher, kid cruncher. Crunching and cracking and popping and ugh, not good. Making progress. I'm gonna take that pile there, get it over out of the way, and then I gotta get rid of this tree like I said before. Oh Mr. Edwards over here breakdancing before doing a backspin. I was going to try to get him on camera, but he, he jumped up, took off. Next time I walk over him, he's going to be doing the moonwalk. definitely heavy this time of year with all the moisture in it <clears throat> using that for weight on the front here to pack this slope in we decided I met with the uh, I got the homeowner or whatever we're gonna go down another foot over here just to get us more more dirt just the pack's good be good for putting in a pond dam I was supposed to um, haul um, ag lime for a base and then sand. He thought I had a single axle. And he don't want me to bring the triaxle down this road here, which I 100% agree with him. I even, when I got here, he was kind of thinking, wow, look, this could be, uh, this could be sketchy. And he just had to, his uh, entrance up there, you guys seen that black top. I don't want to do any damage to people's property. A little bit of money i would be making on hauling the ground ain't worth, worth uh, destroying somebody's property. So when he comes back, we're gonna out of here I'll get them all cut and knots and have him finish them off as I'm pushing pushing them so you can see that been filled see how that see how that dark dirt is down in with this clay that means this clay was pushed on top of that top so well you can see that layer of that blackness it's original topsoil somebody pushed pushed over well we got her hacked down about another foot you can tell right here looks like you had a burn pile or something and buried over top of it just Mercy, 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 look at that. Dang, horse, horse is stepping that. He'll be up to his 
ain't Chuck. I have to bring my laser tomorrow. I mean, it's, I got an eyeball. It looks, I don't know. It's not just hard for me to, I mean, it looks pretty good, but when it all drops off, I always, I just want to make sure the water's getting out. That's all that really matters. Like I said, it's not like a building pad. So just for these guys over here, nothing got to be too special. Right, guys? The homeowner went down to get the gravel. He's, he's going to be back here a little bit. We're going to drop these trees. He actually knew me from uh, uh, when I had the shop down the road. I never met him. I met his wife when I came here to look at his work. This is, this is her deal. He don't really mess with the horses, he said. I don't know if I mentioned before, but one of their horses died and they had it buried. My buddy Steve called me to bury it and I was on a big dirt moving job I couldn't pull off but <laughs> how ironic that day I, I don't get people call I mean I've buried one horse my neighbor that day two people called me wanting horses buried and I couldn't get to them so I turned my dad did one with his skid loader and then this they had somebody else he said I, I told him I was like, I just couldn't get to it he's like yeah we I couldn't wait us he said by the time you you know a couple days the coyotes would have got that thing I'm like yeah that wouldn't have been a very good sight would it mr ed who's a good boy old grass burner i'm about to get on this tree it's going this way but we're going to persuade it that way I could have definitely cut through there more, but with that being rotten, that's why it snapped. Got her down, now we're getting her worked up. Got the customer on the saw over there. When I came to look at it, she said that he loves cutting wood. Man, the more and more I got to looking at this, I don't think it's worth what I, it's. The risk is not worth the reward. I can drop it. I have 90% confidence I could put that thing that way, but I only charge her $250 to drop this. Ain't worth it. I mean, look at that thing. Lean this way back. I mean, you push that thing and then it rolls, goes into the air. Who knows? It's just, like I said, the risk is not worth the reward. I just text a picture of it to my buddy Paul Ziegler does uh, landscaping tree removal. We do jobs together and stuff at time to time, and he's gonna stop by and get a price tomorrow. You gotta know, just sometimes you just gotta know when to walk away, you know what I mean? And sometimes you gotta know when to run. 250 bucks, it ain't worth it. Like Kenny Rogers says, y'all know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to run. Cause you know what they say, if it can happen, it will. You're getting down with it. I was down over the hill cutting that burn thing in for him. I heard a what? A whack it, whack it job. Looked up and his chain was hanging down. Can't happen, it will. We're gonna get him out of the way. We're gonna chop it up and I'll start pushing that stuff over the hill. 
on a sadder note i think we lost our our jobadiah he went to a factory job running a forklift i don't think i don't think he'll be back man me and him were we were hitting on all eight last last summer and at the end of the at the end of the year but i can't keep somebody busy and try to find work for him it just puts too much stress on me and that's it's not what i'm about at this point in my life just do what i can and enjoy it and it always work out if i had to go back to doing them septics all by myself that's what i do i guess that sucks it talk about having your guts worked out how to do it there's not we'll always find a way i told idaho since he 12 grand and then pumps i said i'll tell you what i'll do idaho i'll go ahead and pay for those and then you could just work them off all summer he just smiled at me jamie girl like that Man, I heard that chain fly off. I heard it, man, I looked out and your chain's hanging. Ah, yeah. oh, shit. Normally when I- little branches, they, they grab it and pull it off. Yeah. Normally when I'm cutting, I always have two saws. I'll pinch one so bad I can't. Yeah. I pinched two of them before and had to get a third one. Yeah. It's, it's always something. Yes, it is. Corralling up some of this brush. Those are down here to the hole I made. back for day two of this little horse horse arena pad i should have went ahead and smoothed it out and knocked it out last night and just been done with it i didn't think there was no hurry i ain't really got a bunch going on i really don't have anything anything else going on we got rain coming later this evening so i figured ah no big deal what to do last night we're putting the cutting edges on the 65 starts pouring rain so it's like it's like 11 o'clock winds blowing so i gave it some time it didn't start out early gave it some time let it uh somewhat tack up i'm gonna get the laser out and shoot it looks like it might have a little high spot here shoot that maybe put a little back in there yeah i did talk to the customer he said yeah it's a big burn pile I said yeah look at look at the water coming out of it he said it burned all kinds of stuff yeah it might be a little low back in there put some back in there Bit right here in this low spot. It was nice yesterday. It's a little cold and windy today. Like I said, though, it is February, so better than. than the alternative see i knew that wouldn't take long it took like 10 minutes down with the slickness look at that slicked up it's a little high here but that's where that stump was let them horses pound that down they're like little hoofs they'll, they'll compact all this stuff like i said it ain't like it's it ain't like it's a pole building pad or anything but it's got to be perfect so that's funny when you guys heard the phone ring that's my buddy brian a long time friend and we were talking he's like oh man you seen this video this video i'm like what are you watching youtube he's like yeah i'm like well, dude check my channel he's like you got a youtube channel you know i do i said well check it out let me know right mr ed mr ed says yeah so on that note you guys might want to think about liking and subscribing it's free 99 
It's free. You should do it. And you should go check out orshoexcavating.com. I'm getting that set up where you can buy all my t-shirts, hoodies, hats. So you guys can go in there and buy all the swag. And I got I got a bunch of new stuff too getting made up. So maybe when I get home, I'm gonna show you all my new hats, dude. You can get them on orshoexcavating.com. Well guys, that's it for this one. Like always, I love the support guys. Keep watching, keep banging that subscribe button. Let's uh, let's take this channel places. I can't take it no without you guys. I need subscribers. Let's go. Well, Mr. Ed, I hope you like your new pad. Got anything to say to him? Cat got your tongue today? Ah. There you go. Go. Good boy, Mr. Ed. Okay, Mrs. Ed, see ya.